Hello all, welcome to Mobile Testing YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install APM GUI in your Mac. Let's start. So you should get inside the APM desktop GitHub repo and then uh, download the latest version of uh, APM available. Uh, I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Um, so this is the file which you should download APM desktop 1.2.0 dmg file since we are uh, installing it in a mac system i already have downloaded it and it is in this folder let me double click on it so you should hold this icon drag and drop into the application folder let's wait for a few uh, minutes for the installation to complete So this is going to be a series of uh, videos where we discuss about APM, GUI tools, APM, Python and uh, IO simulators, Android simulators, how to do uh, configure your system to test the mobile applications, all those stuff. So please subscribe to my channel. Uh, so installation is completed successfully. Let us open. let us open the application let's get inside applications folder and double click on apm it's, it's verifying yeah so it will show you a window saying this is downloaded from internet and are you sure you want to open it click on the open button Yep, the APM GUI has successfully installed and it has started. Um, so when you click on start server button, it will start the APM server on 0.0.0 IP with the port number 4723. I have clicked on the start button. You can see APM server has successfully started up. So now we are going to uh, configure the desired capabilities. We will provide the details of which IOS version the simulator should boot up all those details i have already made a desired i mean i have already uh, had a simulator using apm so th these are the json details of it uh, let me copy paste from this so i'll paste this whole thing in uh, video description please make sure you use them so the platform name is iOS. Platform. Ensure you don't have any typos in this. Platform version is 10.3. I have iPhone simulator in my Mac Xcode then the device name is iphone 7 then the app path i'll show you how to get the app path correct app path in next video stay tuned reset no reset true this is a boolean value so we should give it as true okay so we are giving this no reset in or I mean generally what will happen is whenever you run a test case the simulator will uh, reset then the application will be installed freshly uh, this process takes uh, a lot of time so we are going to put no reset flag as true so that our simulator doesn't get reset every time that's it so we are done with uh, entering all the details in desired capabilities now let's save this click on save button give any name i'm going to give it as iphone 7 since this is an iphone 7 simulator desired capabilities click on save button once you click on save button you can see uh, there is under the saved capability sets we have this iphone 7 
with whatever details we have given it is stored if you want to edit it you can click on the edit button add more params as you want there is a link for desired capabilities documentation you can make use of that also but uh, it's out of scope of this video let's just focus on these things yeah so we have we are done with the initial uh, apm gui setup and also configuring the desired capabilities in the next video i'll show you how to install i mean how to install the build the demo application provided by apm using xcode and then let's boot the iphone simulator with that demo application thanks for watching the video please subscribe